Well, hey guys, how you doing? Happy Father's Day to Jesus. And happy Father's Day to everyone out there. And my daddy in heaven. He passed away in 2019. But um, <clears throat> hopefully we'll get to see him soon. And whoever else lost their dad. And Jesus is our father though. So if you don't have a father. Because he's amazing. And he's our Messiah and our Lord. And um, I claim that he's the son of God. He's also God. He came to earth in the flesh. But on the cross he died for us. And he rose on the third day ignore the people on YouTube trying to scam you. Um, so <clears throat> I saw that Oklahoma's power went out. That was one of another prophecy that the Lord gave me that came true. And army tanks was another one on uh, May 30th. He said they were coming and they just showed up yesterday. Um, <clears throat> so lots more, you know, the Lord has never said this, um, before he's never said his last warning. And he, he said the warnings are final before, and he said this is your last hour, but he's never said this is my last letter. So, <clears throat> I feel like it's very soon. Either way, I'm looking up every day because I know Jesus is our Redeemer, and um, I appreciate everyone who came on the live the other day. Um, I know it was a little not the normal live that we usually do. <clears throat> so we were having interference issues on, on one end, on Sarah's end, and, um, you know, there's just not everything that, you know, we can understand from Jesus. You know, when he says lift off, we get excited in the flesh and we think lift off to his rapture. But then someone sent me the definition for lift off, and it was um, fighter jets or missiles being launched. And it was very interesting because there was tons of fighter jets yesterday, tons of army tanks. So I thought that was very interesting. Anyway, only God knows what he has planned and what he's doing. And um, all I can do is be obedient. But God's word is true. And he said this was his last letter. So I posted it earlier, but now I'm doing the video for it. <coughs> I went to golfing with my husband today. So we just got back. It took like all day. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, and Daniel says hi to everybody. He appreciates, you know, the comments. A lot of love for him. And like I said, I love my husband. We just don't agree on everything when it comes to pre-trip or post-trip. But I respect him. He respects me. He's a great guy. Um, and not all meets the eye. You know, Jess knows my husband. <clears throat> they have talked before, and she knows his views, so there's always more behind the scene, but, um, you know, Jess was just sticking up for me, to be honest, because she was afraid that he was going to say something, um, you know, embarrassing or whatever, which, you know, is a little embarrassing to get on there, but I have no qualms against my husband. I love him very much, and... Um, I think, you know, all this is going to play out <clears throat> the way it's supposed to play out. And, um, I'm just going to keep looking up and seek Jesus every day. I read his word every day. I pray to him every day. I worship him every day. He's my love. But I love my husband too, so. Okay, <clears throat> June 18, 2023. First John 2, 9, if anyone claims I am living in the light but hates a fellow believer, that person is still living in darkness. First Corinthians 1, 7. Now you have every spiritual gift you need as you eagerly wait for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Job 2, 5, but reach out and take away his health and he will surely curse you to your face. Deuteronomy 7, 18, but don't be afraid of them. Just remember what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to all the land of Egypt. Amos 2, 11, I choose... I chose some of your sons to be prophets and others to be Nazarites. Can you deny this, my people of Israel? Asks the Lord. John 1, 9. The one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. James 2, 8. Yes, indeed, it is good when you obey the royal laws found in the scriptures. Love your neighbor as yourself. Luke 14, 7. When Jesus noticed that all who had come to the dinner were trying to sit in the seats of honor near the head of the table, he gave them this advice. 
Luke 21, 3, I tell you the truth, Jesus said, this poor widow has given more than all the rest of them. Here's the message. Storms are coming, my child. Great big storms. My pre-wrath is real and it's here. Wake up, children. I have been speaking and you are all going to see it come to light. There are no more warnings. This is my final letter to you. I already know the last person to get in the boat. It's done. It's finished. I'm your Lord God and I have spoken. James 2.9, but if you favor some people over others, you are committing a sin. You are guilty of breaking the law. Leviticus 1.3, if the animal you present as a burnt offering is from the herd, it must be a male with no defects. Bring it into the entrance of the tabernacle so you may be accepted by the Lord. John 3.7, so don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. Daniel 1.8, but Daniel was determined not to defile himself by eating the food and wine given to him by the king. He asked the chief of staff for permission not to eat those or these unacceptable foods. <clears throat> 1 Peter 2.7, yes, who trust in him recognize the honor God has given him, but for those who reject him, the stone that builders reject has now become the cornerstone. First Peter 2, or no, Revelation 18, 6. Due to her, she has done to others. Double her penalty for all her evil deeds. She brewed a cup of terror for others, so brewed twice as much for her. Revelation 19, 5. And from the throne came a voice that said, Praise our God, all his servants, all who fear him, from the least to the greatest. <clears throat> Jonah 3, 9. Who can tell, perhaps even yet God will change his mind and hold back his fierce anger from destroying us. John 1, 11. He came to his own people, and even they rejected him. The last message, watch the chips, how they fall. I am the Lord God, and I have spoken. So, he didn't even say, save by faith or grace, like he usually does, guys. This really was his last warning. I truly believe that with all my heart. He said it was his last letter. I truly believe that, because God's word is true. So, <laughs> for the ones who say that I do this for attention, if I was doing this for attention, I wouldn't have put last letter. Just saying. Okay, guys, I don't know what God has planned, but I do know he's coming soon. I feel it in my soul, in my spirit, and I do know he loves everybody, and he has no favorites. And, and I'm very shaky today. Holy Spirit's been on me all day at golf, and I finally just got this message. Let me see. My child, tell them I am coming. There is no more delay. There is no more tarry. I told you this is my last warning. I told you this is my last letter. My words are true. My pre-wrath is here. You will see it all unfold. All of these warnings have to been to wake you up. All of these warnings were to wake you up. But you have not listened and you do not heed them. I am coming, my child. My boat is ready. And it's full. And I already know the last person to get in it. I'm pulling the net out of the water. I love you. You are saved by your faith in my grace. I will see you in the clouds soon. You are Lord God and I have spoken. James 2, 3. Jeremiah 1, 9. 1 Corinthians 1, 7. Leviticus 2, 8. Job 2, 9. Malachi 1, 3. Philippians 1, 8. 
I love you, and I have spoken. God bless, guys.